negative self-talk and how to stop it. In this video, I will share with you some ideas on how to stop the negative self-talk. But first of all, let's see what it is self-talk. Self-talk is the act of using words and phrases while thinking. All of us have an ongoing internal dialogue that helps us process and navigate day-to-day -day life. When this dialogue becomes critical and unsupportive, it is negative self-talk. When someone looks in the mirror and criticizes their appearance, it only makes that person feel bad, feel sad. When the negative self-talk it is a habit, and most of the times it is, especially for people who struggle with low self-esteem, uh, anxiety, it can affect the person's life in all areas, in academics, career, friendships, or relationships. If you think that you are uh, clumsy, that you are a loser, looking ugly, um, feeling worthless, then your self-talk will be negative. The real problem is that this negative self-talk reinforces the irrational beliefs, ideas you already have about yourself. Each time you repeat one of those negative phrases, you are actually making your beliefs, irrational ideas about yourself stronger. Negative self-talk is hurting our self-esteem, self-confidence, motivation. People often feel less than, useless or fearful about life and their self-talk when their self-talk reaches to this point. Fortunately, there are ways to feel better, including learning new ways to talk to yourself, practicing awareness around negative self-talk and asking for help. Negative self-talk creates a lens from which to view the world and yourself. We spend a lot of time listening to this internal voice. And as a result, it can make dark days even darker and makes us feel hopeless. And this can lead to depression and anxiety. Life is already challenging enough. Adding negativity from an inner voice is not going to help. It will be the opposite. Now, it is your responsibility to take care of yourself, not only regarding your physical health, but also regarding your mental health. You have the potential to be the most consistent and available support person when getting through life. You need to be your own best friend in your life, not your worst critic enemy. It is difficult to live at your full potential, to face fears, to feel good about yourself when your inner dialogue is unsupportive, it is disempowering. Now let's see the types of negative self-talk so that you can recognize them. Negative self-talk can take various forms depending on the situation you find yourself in. For example, if you are getting through your work day, you might use different self-talk than if you are trying on an outfit in the fitting room. And sometimes the words we use are not helpful. Since we are communicating with ourselves almost all the time, it is important to monitor how we sound to ourselves. When we stop to listen to the way we talk to ourselves, only then can catch those moments when we are communicating with ourselves negatively. Only then we can modify our language to be more supportive to ourselves. I knew I can't do this. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I even tried this. Have you ever said things like this to yourself? I did. This is called critical self-talk. 
This self-talk is judgmental on both yourself and other people. You might experience this self-talk when you look in the mirror, when you study for a test, when having an interview the next day, for example. If you notice yourself saying that you or anyone else is not good enough, you can recognize this critical self-talk. I'm hopeless. Nobody loves me. I'm worthless. This is the self-talk that the person who is depressed might use. This self-talk is defeated and often sad. It doesn't help you to take any action, to do something. It is the opposite. It makes you to want to give up on going after the things you want for you and for your life. It makes you feel bad, doubt yourself and your abilities. If you listen to this negative self-talk, if you do nothing, if you avoid things because of this negative self-talk, the more sad you will feel. And this self-talk, it will stop you from building your confidence. Confidence comes from doing things, from trying things, not from avoiding things. Anxious self-talk. This self-talk sounds like fear. Checking through the what-ifs of any situation. Searching for any possibility of danger. This self-talk comes from insecurity to the point of obsession and it is future oriented afraid of the consequences of mistakes and failure. Negative self-talk can result in unnecessary stress, anxiety, depression, self-doubt and many, many others. But here is the thing. We don't have to listen to the negative, critique, inner voice that makes us feel bad, anxious, that makes us feel um, hopeless, that makes us doubt ourselves, that is tearing us down. There are things that you, me, your child, your friend and anyone else can do to take control over the uh, negative and helpful voice. What do you think you can do to stop the inner critic? What do you think you need to do to feel better and stop the negative voice? There are three things you need to do and I'm going to share them with you. First of all, you need to catch it. You need to recognize when you are having this negative, hurtful, unhelpful, negative self-talk, negative thoughts. And the easiest way to realize that your inner critic is at work is to be aware of the way you feel, to be aware of your feelings. Why? Well, if you have used negative self-talk for a long period of the time, now you are doing it without realizing you are doing it, without realizing the negative effects that has on you. So catch it. When you catch the negative self-talk, control it. Stop it. When you find yourself thinking negatively, say stop to yourself silently. You need to do this. You need to stop the downward spiral of thoughts leading to sadness, guilt, anxiety, self-doubt, hurt. You need to do this. Because if you choose not to stop, then the negative voice becomes even louder. And then you will feel more of those yucky feelings such as anger, um, sadness, fear, shame, doubt, and so on. After what you catch it, you stop it, challenge it. Challenge what you are saying to yourself using questions. A few examples are, hmm, is this thought helpful? What is a more healthy thought? What would I tell a friend in this situation? And write down the answers and then follow the advice. What evidence do I have that what I'm thinking is really true? What is the evidence against it? 
Is there another way of looking at this situation? What are some other points of view? What is the worst, the best, most likely outcome? If the worst did happen, how could I cope? Would I live through it? What it will help me move easily through it if the worst case scenario will happen? What can I do to minimize the risk of this happening? Is there anything I can do about this right now? If yes, then take appropriate action. If no, accept it and move on. After what you had challenged the negative voice, change it. Change the negative messages you are saying to yourself to more realistic, positive ones. If you do that, then you will feel more helpful emotions. If you want to feel better about yourself, to stop doubting yourself, to stop anxiety from growing, you need to choose. You need to choose to get into this new habit, the habit of being aware of the way you talk to yourself. Start practicing these ideas from now. Continue for two months and you will notice huge changes. If you like the video, give a like, share it. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. Take care.